Hey YouTube, welcome to the Redbeard Grind. I'm Redbeard. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and uh, I share what I sell. So I'm sharing what I sold yesterday. I put up these videos every day. Uh, it's Monday, so this is going to cover Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, you know, we sold 45 items for $1,400 over the weekend. Uh, let's just jump in and get right to it. We've got a lot to cover. I feel like I go too fast when I do these. So if I'm going too fast, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll keep my pace because uh, I'm I'm all C forward up right now and trying to get this done so I can get on to other things. So, all right. So it was a pretty good weekend um, for sales. I sold some good stuff. So the I've sorted it from high to low. So the first stuff is definitely stuff you want to keep your eye out for. And uh, as we get closer to the bottom, uh, probably stuff that you don't want to buy. So this is a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren corduroy pants. Um this was a really good find. I'll show you the tag. It's it's um, the vintage blue and silver made in Italy. That got my attention right away. When I looked at these, they were in really good condition. I know it was, there, was, there were no flaws on them. Um, and they're pleated. Let's see here, I'll show you. So they're pleated here. They got the cuffs at the bottom. Uh, I listed these and they sold quickly. They sold for full asking price, 60 bucks. I listed them January 17th. Today's the 22nd. So um, I got these for, I think, $6.99, $7.99 uh, at Goodwill. So that was a really good flip right there. They sold fast. Uh, North Face. These are some snow pants. Um, they're selling right now. I don't normally buy these. I pass them a lot, but it had the, the high vent. Uh, it sells a little bit better than uh, just North, North Face snow pants that don't have that on there. This is the, I think they're like they're waterproof. Um, line. I, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think that's what that is. But these were in really good shape and I listed them and they sold pretty fast. Um, this is one of the things with North Face that sells for a decent amount of money. Um, it's it's women's. There's the, the tag there. I'll show you all the little details there. And the keywords on this one were just snowboard, snow pants. It was, it was pretty easy to list. And I don't remember what the sell through rate was. And I priced them. I priced them to move. I think there were people pricing more than what I was, but listed them January nineteenth, so they sold really fast for full asking price. All right, another good flip. Vintage Lawman Western jeans. These are similar to the Rocky Mountain jeans. Every time I see these, I buy them. Um, I find these less often than the Rocky Mountains, and uh, I found a pair of these today, but. Uh, they're a little bit different. They're just like some straight leg jeans. They're they're not like these. I don't I don't even know if they're not bareback. But I'll listen tonight, so maybe they'll sell quick and we can go over it. But um, these sell for uh, you know a pretty penny. They get forty six dollars for these. They sat for a little while. I listed these December eighteenth, but they still sell. These will set for sometimes a couple of months till the right buyer comes by. But um, there's a logo on the back for their little badge. And let me show you. So with the, here, let me go back up here. I'm all over the place. Hold on. Let's see. I'm going to go back up, right? I'll just show you this for the new people. Like, So when I have something that's high waist, um, I will measure twice just so that the, the customer can get an idea of what the actual waist size is and what the, the high side and low side is. Um, I had a return one time because of that. So I was like, oh, it's easy enough just to throw the two rulers on there and show them more dimensions. I'm trying to scroll down again. Okay, so there's inside the waist, lawman, world-class denim, uh, made in Hong Kong. These are often made in like China, Mexico, US. Um, I think it had a little stain, a little bitty dot there, nothing too major in there, I zoomed in. Uh, but other than that, they were in really good condition. Um, and there's the bare back, no pockets on the back. Um, so this is a really good flip. All right, moving on. Pendleton. This is a brand that resellers talk about all the time. And so I have the worst luck with Pendleton. I, every time I buy it, it just sets and sets until I, I just reduce the price and to where it'll sell. But I bought this. I don't even buy it that often anymore. But this was a wool, um, wool jacket, women's black, red size 10, heavyweight, hooded, um, so I, I think I comped it. I can't remember. I bought it. I, don't want to, I listed it November 30th. I thought it would sell fast, but it sat for a little while. And I sold it for 44 
I'll show you what it looks like. The tags look like. There's the Pendleton tag. Uh, it's made in China, so nothing special there. Um, let's see. Where's the wool tag? 100% mining. Okay, so wool and cotton. So it's got it's just a blend. But um, this was a nice piece that I thought would sell faster, and it sat for a while. I think I bought it for, you know, usually they're like seven ninety nine, but they probably had like a an eleven or twelve dollar tag on this one. My general cost of goods is seven bucks. That's just everything averaged out. But Joy, this is a brand I buy. This is kind of a bread and butter for me. I'm a little bit particular with what I buy. I won't buy anything. Um, even in the winter time, I buy the polo shirts if it has a cool design on it. I bought one today, just a short sleeve polo that I'll list tonight probably. Um, that has uh, the hound's tooth um, pattern on it, uh, but the plain ones I just I just skip past. I bought this because it's um, I buy pretty much all their jackets, uh, and it's a dry joy, which I'll show you. So the dry joys they sell. There's there's versions of dry joy that sell very well. It had some dry joy golf pants that were I think I sold those in the sixties or seventies. They move fast, but this is a good bread and butter for me. Sometimes it brings in good money, and sometimes it's just a little bit little bit of money. Uh, sold these for $39.87, listed them January 20th, so they sold fast, and it did have stains on it, I'll show you, it had like, a, it was like a scuff there, and then it had all these spots, like I could not get those out, I tried, um, but the customer's aware that they're there, uh, hopefully, and um, I have a good flip, a fast flip, it's a good brand, uh, Foot Joy, and then the Dry Joy, I guess sub of that is really good to buy too. BKEs, I'm selling these all the time, listing these all the time. Um, I pass on a couple of them today at the thrift, but usually I buy them. But there's some you got to comp. When I'm not familiar with what it is, I comp them and some of them don't sell well, but most of these do really well. I took an offer on these, had them listed for 42, listed them December 19th. They sat for a little while. Really nice. What are these? Boot cut, boot cut high rise. I'll show you the tag. There's BKE Parker. Uh, and you'll want that in your title, BKE Parker Jeans, and then the size. And let's see what I got with uh, shipping. So 44 was shipping. Uh, I don't know what the offer was that I took on it. Levi's jacket. I wasn't sure about this when I could when I comped that I couldn't get really good information. Um, but they had it. I think they had this for $7.99. So I was like, I, I bought it. It was nice. It's like immaculate. It looks brand new. I think it is new. Um, just had the tags taken off of it. So Levi's, um, made in China. There's all the tags. It just looks looks really nice. So when I got home, I did more more research. Um, thinking, okay, I could probably sell this. I'm not going to lose money on it at least. Um, and sold it for thirty nine eighty seven. I listed it January nineteenth. It moved fast. And the the keywords were round full of suede Sherpa line trucker jacket, full zip. So I got my eye out for those again because that that will move really fast. When I comped it, I, I couldn't I couldn't find that much information on it. Uh, Judy Blue sell Judy Blue all the time. Uh, I got lucky today and hit a like a jackpot of I think I got ten or twelve of them today. Um, it's in a it's a two XL and that has like a two hundred percent sell through rate. So um, still buying up Judy Blues. I think the market's starting to get saturated on this brand, but they still sell. This these sold for thirty four eighty seven. I listed them January 17th, got them for $7.99, a goodwill probably. Um, I'll show you the tag, Judy Blue. And that's easy to spot. My eyes are trained to see that and just grab it. And then there's the straight fit. And they always have their style number on the tag. A lot of people have this in their listings, so you can you can search for it that way too. But this is a great brand for me. Um, I love finding this. I just pick it up. I don't even comp it. I even... Pick up the Capris. I sold a Capri yesterday, which I was in one of my videos, previous videos. I said, I hate Capris. Um, and I do. But Judy Blue Capris, I'll buy them because they're they're moving. This is a Mar Armani Exchange. Um, this is like, I guess, a cheaper version of Armani. Uh, stuff that they make, bomber jacket. This was, um, I had problems comping it, but I went and got it because, again, this was cheap. I think that they had like $7.99 or $9.99 on it. And I knew I could sell it for a profit. Um, it had had these stains in the jacket, or I guess they were 
had deodorant on and then it had like a, a spot there but it moved fast i listed it january 18th and took an off run on it let's see i got 41.99 with my shipping area fr flannel you can pick up pretty much almost any area you see not all of it but this brand moves fast i'll show you the there's the the area fr tag um nothing special just a just a work shirt and i took an offer on that one too and i got 41.66 with my shipping g star raw this is a brand that i i know about because of big yumbo he had mentioned it and it, initially i just started when i'd see it i'd just buy it but then i don't know okay just don't just pick up any of it um you got you have to comp it and make sure that what you're buying is going to move this one, I don't know what the keywords were, maybe loose tapered blue or loose tapered. Um, see, I listed these December 2nd, so they move pretty fast. And I took an offer on those. I'll show you the tag, um, G Raw Arc. So a lot of them, I think all of them have a name. So you can just put G Raw or G Star Raw Arc Jeans um, 3D Relax. That 3D is that like the legs are kind of curved. Um, and let me let me show you the this picture here. So you see how it's like it looks like it's wrinkled, but it's because these are there's a little um, <clears throat> there's a little I don't know what you call that like some stitching there. To, but the legs are like they curve in, and it's it's like uh, here you can see it better here. You see how the hem goes in a curve, but that's that's what they're calling 3D. I should have put oh I did yeah 3D jeans. So uh, they sell pretty well, but just be careful with what you buy. Uh, Lululemon. This is another great bread and butter. I find this every week, not every day. I wish I could find it every day. This was, uh, I think, an older pair. But if you don't know about Lululemon, find this dot. It's going to be buried in a pocket somewhere or um, way down in the pocket. And um, you can use this information to get the exact name of what you have. These were the pace breaker line shorts. Um, and uh, it's critical that you have that to be able to sell stuff faster. If you don't put it, you can still put Lululemon shorts, you know, and then do your measurements and stuff. And you're still going to sell it, but it won't sell as fast and you may not get as much because the, the people that are collectors or users of this brand know exactly what they want. And they just put Pacebreaker Lululemon and then find their size and then compare your prices to everybody else and go. I took an offer on these. Got 38 total. For my shipping, I probably bought those for $4.99. The thrift most of the time doesn't know what they have when they have Lululemon. Some some of the places I go know it know Lululemon very well and price it up. But usually when they price it up, it's in the nine dollar range. If it's pants, maybe $13.99. Um, I still buy it, still buy it if it's in good shape because you're gonna sell it for in the 30s to 40 dollar range. Uh here's another foot joy. I just got it because it was foot joy. It did have this emblem. I don't, that's, that's probably some golf course somewhere. I just took a picture of it so the customer can see it. It's got, it's got an emblem on there. Um, and I don't know what golf course that goes to. I'll show you the tag, just a FJ. And then on the back, it probably has, yeah, FJ right there. So twenty nine eighty seven full asking price, listed that January 14th. It moved fast, it was a, a great investment. Um, Orbis is a brand that, I like, but I don't, I don't buy it that much. It's a pass for me most of the time because it doesn't have a great sell through rate, but they have a lot of outdoor fishing shirts and stuff. Um, in the past I was buying them, but they just don't move for a good price and they move slow. This was Merino wool. So that's why I bought it. Anything Merino wool, even if it's like a J crew or Tommy Hill figure um, is going to have a better sell through rate than just your standard stuff. So I comped this one. It had a pretty decent sell through rate and this was in really nice shape. Um, let me show you the tag. There's Orvis, just a simple tag. Um, and there's your 100% Merino wool on the tag on the inside. I listed it January 17th and it's gone. Let's see what I got for it. 3530 with the shipping. Miss me, just another bread and butter. Um, bread and butter brand here. I Miss me doesn't sell as good as it used to, and it doesn't sell for as much as it used to. I got 2687 for these. They're you know, they're easy to see because you got a lot of times when you're going through the racks, you can see all this glitter and studs and everything. And then 
that's easy to see when you're when you're thumbing through all the racks that miss me. And then I'll put this back down. I'm just gonna drink it, but I'm talking too much. Um, and then it's, it usually has like what is it? It's a it's the boots or skinny fit or you know boyfriend fit or whatever. So it's a pretty decent brand. Just comp it every time you see it, and um, you'll find stuff that you like. There's stuff that will sell for a profit. All right, BKE again. Here's the Alec jeans. Uh, listed these January 18th. Sold them for twenty nine eighty seven. Full asking price. They went fast. And I'll show you the tag. There's the tag. Whoop. BKE Alec size, all that stuff. And it had like a mild stain there. Not that you guys care about that stuff, I guess. Um, but those are gone. It was a good sell. Uh, here's Spanx again. They're moving right now. I, I bought a couple of this in the last week. Um, this little tag here is easy to see when you're going through the racks. You see red, grab it, look at it, make sure it's in good condition. You can comp if you want any and comp these usually, especially right now because they're selling so fast. I just uh, grab them and go. If they're skinny fit, flare or whatever, I just grab it. So twenty six eighty seven plus shipping on that. That was a great one. It moved fast. Here's some more Lululemon. And this, I don't know how I got the sweatly relaxed top. I probably, because there's no dot. I can't always find the dot on the tops. Um, I probably just went just went through eBay listings until I found this exact same thing or went to the Lululemon website and found it. Um, but it just helps so much. I, I probably spent several minutes just trying to find the, the damn name on this thing um, because it helps so much to sell it. If I didn't have swiftly relaxed top, um, this may be still be setting. Actually, it's set. And I listed it November 11th. It was on 10% sell. So 26 bucks, still good money. Um, another pair of Spanx. These went for 26.87, full asking, same thing. There's your red tag to look for as you're going through the thrift. Um, if you don't know anything about thrifting and you just want to start, like you could literally could just go to the women's section and just walk real quick and just eventually you're going to find one of these if you live in a city and with enough Goodwills. If you're in a smaller town um, and you don't have Goodwills or Salvations, maybe not. But great brand. Uh, Tommy Bahama, I'm selective on what I buy with these. I won't buy plain t-shirts. I thought this was cool with the stripes, so I, I thought I could sell it. Um, I took an offer on it. The stuff that's just plain, like completely plain, um, you're probably going to sell for the $15, $14, $15 range because the, there's so much of it out there. But there's when you find the, the jazzy stuff with color and logos um, or silk, you can comp it and um, and and probably sell it for more money than what you're buying it for at the Goodwill or the or the um, Salvation Army. So 2XL is good size too. Um, I took an offer on it. I got 32 with my shipping. 686, some more snow pants. This brand's not as good as North Face, um, or at least not for these. I got 2687 full asking price listed at January 19th. I found these at the same time. I found the North Face ones that I just went over. They're the same thing. I'll show you the logo. I just listed a really cool hoodie for this brand too. I'm not real familiar with this brand. Um, that's their logo. Women's small polyester. Uh, they move fast, so and that would be easy to find if you're at the thrift. Uh, it is really, really bright, but they make all different colors. All right, LL Bean. This moved fast. I listed this January seventeenth. Uh, let me. I try to get a close up. Like it's hard to like. This this material is like a thicker, heavier material. It almost looks like a fleece. Um, one of the key words is this uh, chemois. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but um, I just kind of know this when I when I feel it. It's it's in more of the men's like outdoor brand shirts, hunting shirts, um, and it sells well. It's a good. That's a great keyword to have. Um, and then heavy. I just put heavy cotton because it is heavy, and that's a uh, LL Bean always has their they're a, I don't know, I call it a part number, but let's see. What do they call it? Uh, zero MT03. That's their like part number. You can put LL Bean and then put this in there and these these types of shirts will come up. Um, and it helps. It helps when you're comping to, to try to find out what is this worth? What is it going to sell for? It sold fast. It took an offer with my shipping. I got 32 bucks. Tune Views. This is a, this is a brand I don't comp. 
Um, I find this occasionally and it doesn't have a great sell through rate. But what I do is I just like it so much and it's really cool. I always try to put like trippy, rave, um, uh, just crazy keywords up there that will get people's attention because they're always colorful. They're always like, to me, that's trippy. Um, I have toucan, floral, trippy, rave. Um, and I price them, I try to price them to where it's not as expensive as, as, as everybody else so that I can improve my odds of selling it. This set since November 3rd, it was on 10% sell. So I'm still happy with the sell. I got $24 plus my shipping. Uh, my shipping $7.99. It probably cost me four bucks to ship it. So I made some money there. Let me show you the tune views. I don't find this all the time, but every time I find it, it's just like crazy colors um, like this. And I just pick them up I because I know I can sell it. I know I can sell it for more than eight bucks at least. Um, and sometimes when you need inventory, it helps. I don't, it's just like, I don't even find this once a month. That would be easy to find too, if you just go through the thrift, like for crazy, crazy patterns. Um, since jeans, this is another kind of a new bread and butter for me. I used to skip these all the time, but I've been just picking them up every time I find them. Um, as long as they're in good shape. I bought a pair today. That's a, kind of an older tag. They have, um, they kind of worn out the bottom. Let me show you this. So this is their label. They have white label, black label, green, silver, bronze. Uh, you can go to, go to their website. I'll tell you exactly what it is. This was the bronze label, slim fit, straight leg. I got that from their website. Or you can just put it in eBay and, and get all that information too. I took an offer on these because I like to move these fast. I don't want them to set. Um, so I, I got $30 on their shipping. Here's another LL Bean. This is like a, a jacket or shacket. I, I put shacket. Uh, as a keyword, and then there's the part number again. It's quilted on the inside. I'm going to show you that. Quilted. Um, and you have shirt too. Shirt, jacket, jacket. All that stuff just to try to, and it's a snap, button snap. Um, just to try to let your customer know what you have. So if they're looking for that, they can come find it. There, I'll, show you, I'll show you the tag. There's the tag. Men's extra large. And then um, where's their little part number? Their part number's right there. It's a little small, but it's right there. I think some of the stuff doesn't always have a part number, but um, this does. So this went fast, January 18th. I took an offer. I got 30 bucks total. And then page two. I don't know, we got a lot to go through. All right. Levi's 501 jeans vintage. $29 with my shipping. So we're getting down to the stuff that's probably been setting for a while or is just not going to go for as much money. I listed these October 20th. Um, let me show you the tag. These because you can find 501s if you're in a city pretty much anywhere, especially if you're in Texas. They're all all 501s are um are button fly. Uh for the vintage stuff, I like to show the customer the 647 so they can correlate that with the tag. Where's the where's the back of the tag? Did I not take a picture of the back of the tag? Um oh, and there's a little bit of damage. So usually that this little this bit of information is also on the tag, but uh, it's either on the back of this tag or maybe it wasn't available in this pair. This is not like super old vintage. Um, I, so I don't know what year it's from. I put 90s probably because I I uh, compared it to other listings similar to this, this pair of jeans. But 501s are a good pickup. If you're just starting and you just want to make a little bit of money, um, uh, 501s are a good way to go. Just make sure they're in good shape. They can be modern. They can be vintage. The vintage stuff will go for more money. Um, and that's that's kind of what my son does. He does all Levi's pretty much. So these are some hunting vans. I just listed these January 19th. Vintage jerseys outdoors. They comp pretty well when I looked at it. Um, the only thing wrong, let's see. There was a hole right there. And I should have pointed out. I should have pointed out that it's missing the, the drawstring on this leg. I did not point that out. I should have. Um, so if my customer is not happy, I'll I'll either give them a, a you know a little bit of a refund or just let them let them return it. Um, but yeah, I meant to actually point that out and put it in my listing, but I didn't. So this was any outdoor stuff that's like vintage or looks old, comp it. Just put the the brand and what it is basically, and uh, a lot of it has a phenomenal sell through rate and goes for a decent amount of money. So I got 30 bucks for those. This was a, I got these at Salvation on 50% day off. So it was probably like a $4, 50 cent investment for me. 
Um, John Barbados, these are my glasses and I got new ones. So I just put my frames up, uh, sold them for 35 bucks. Um, that was a pretty good investment. I mean, I had these for years and years and years. And when you're doing glasses, just, just I'll show you real quick. There's always information inside. So there's the brand. And then you want to know the 49, 21, 145. Tortoise crystal is the color. You can, if you want to try to sell glasses, you'll have, when you comp and put John Barbados and then put 49-21-145 and it'll all come up exactly what you have. You can see how many are listed. Then you can see how many sold and decide if you want to pull the trigger and try to flip it. And that's for prescription glasses. Some glasses don't think have all that information. All right, Nike. This was a, uh, what, Therma, Therma Quarters at Fleece. I picked it up because it's winter time and I'm not, I don't, I don't buy a whole lot of Nike stuff, but when I have something, I, I think I can sell fairly fast. I took an offer on this. I'll, I'll pick it up and list it. There's your tag, Nike, look, Nike Fit Therma. I listed it January 3rd. So it's been setting, well, not too long. And I took an offer on it, 28 bucks total. Sims. Sims is a great brand. I will buy Sims, even if it's just a t-shirt, whatever it is. Um, I buy it. Let me show you the logo. This is a great outdoor fishing brand. Well, the logo's trash, right? It says Sims right there, but this is old. So there's Sims. Maybe there's a something on the front. What is that? That's one of their tags. I want to show you. Oh, that's the Core 3. So this is the Core 3 shirt. Um, let's see. Well, I can kind of blow that up. Sims, but that little fish right there. Um, is their logo. I, I've got more of the stuff listed as it sells. I'll show you some better tags. This was just older. Uh, I listed it December 11th. It sat for a little while. Usually since moves pretty fast and it took an offer. So 27 with my shipping on that. Roan. Um, I do. I actually bought one of these today. This is a decent brand. Just copy. I don't know much about it. I I bought the pants and listed. I got three of them that were new with tag. None of them have sold. Maybe I think I overpriced them. I think I priced a little bit high. So as they go through my sales, as they age, they'll get the, the price will get cheaper and cheaper. I think they'll sell just fine. But this is um, as far as I can tell, it's a pretty decent brand. This sold for twenty four. Well, I took an offer, so I didn't sell for twenty four eighty seven. I took an offer. It's just a t shirt, like a performance t shirt. I'll show you the. Let me show you. So there's Roan, and it's made out of polyester and spandex. And with my shipping, I got 27 bucks for it. Bought this thing for probably $4.99. More Judy Blue. I don't have to go over this. I'll show you the tag just to remind you that you see this tag. Um, I would say buy it and uh, and and list it and sell it and get your money. This oh, this was the Capri. This sold yesterday. Um, I hate Capris because they never sell. But this one I listed... January 21st and it sold that night. I took an offer because the guy got lucky because I hate Capri's. I think he sent me an offer for like 15 bucks or she. So I was just like, I'll just take it. Under Armour Pants. I just listed these two. This was January 18th. I'll show you the, the label. Nothing special about these. Um, Under Armour Pants. I'm surprised. Yeah, golf pants, performance tech. Um, I bought a couple of pairs of these at the same time. White, I I almost always stay away from. I don't even look at the stuff, but I think I got three of these. It was uh, someone had donated three at the same time. They were all in like perfect condition, so I I went ahead and looked at the the white. Just I spent probably like five minutes just looking over the whole thing, making sure there's not one spot on it. Um, 1987. That's how much I listed them for. You're not gonna get rich off that stuff, but it'll move fast, uh, and you get your money back, uh, and then some, and you go buy more inventory with it. So here's another foot joy. This is the total plain Jane foot joy that I just said I don't buy. So I guess that makes me a liar. Um, but I think I, I don't know when I bought this one. I listed January 14th. I came across a, a bunch of them all at once. And I just scooped them all up. This was probably part of that because it was this month. So um, and the size, I, the size, if like I probably considered the size when I was thinking, oh, should I pull the trigger on this or not? Uh, I got it for $4.99, I think, or no, maybe $6.99. And so I got $21.99 total with my shipping. Here's more Lululemon. And here's your dot. This is the older Lululemon, does not have all the information around. So you cannot look up what you have. 
I just put, um, so this is an example. I didn't know what this is called. So I put Lululemon activewear shorts, men's large, just describe it as best you can. And I listed on January 12th. Oh, I list, I, okay. Here's a little backstory. I, this is an auction. I put it for a dollar because here, I'll show you. There was, the zippers broke. And I don't I did not, I should have turned my pictures. Um, I guess I was tired. I'm often listing at like 12, one, two in the morning. Um, so yeah, my brain was not working then. But because of that, and what else? I thought there was some more damage to these. Maybe the fact that it's just old. I, I just didn't want to deal with it. So I was just like, I'm just going to put it out for a dollar and sold it for $12.50. So hopefully I, I I maybe a little bit more than broke even on that and got my money back. They were, I probably paid $4.99 for it. Uh, let's see. REI Co-op. I've gone over this before. Um, Co-op's a little bit better than just the regular REI, in my opinion. These were uh, outdoor activewear pants. I don't see anything special about these. They're kind of old. Let's see, the label's worn out, I think. And they've got all kinds of issues, like spots, holes. So this is one of those buys where, for whatever reason, I did not see all that stuff when I was buying it. Um, oh, that was, okay, so this is the, um, I think, no, that's just a vent. That's not the removable leg. It's just a vent. Um, I can't tell you why I bought these. Sometimes I'm tired, and I just, at the end of the day, and I need a couple more things, and I know the brand, I know I could sell it, I throw it in the basket. I've had these since November 29th, I would not buy this again. Um, I priced them to, to go, so I finally got 1338. I think we'll get into things that um, I would not buy now. So if you haven't already left, like you can learn for the rest of the video, you're probably gonna learn things that I wish I didn't buy. Um, or this fishing shirt, women's, uh, again, I, the other Oris I sold was the Merino wool. This one, I I don't typically buy. I think I remember comping this and the women seemed like the sell through rate was a little bit better, but I've had these since September 26th. Wouldn't buy this again, uh, unless I was really desperate for inventory. There's another Orbis shirt. Maybe the same person bought this. Um, no, this is a men's. This one I listed January 8th, 2023. Just to give you an idea, it's been setting for over a year. Uh, I originally had it for $16.99. I sold it for $10.19. And I'll show you the tag just so you can see the tag. But yeah, this is stuff that I'm not interested in anymore. Made in Hong Kong. Maybe that attracted me back then. I don't know. I've got so much more experience now. Um, Prana is a decent bread and butter. I'll pick it up when I need inventory, but not typically. And I probably wouldn't pick this up. Again, there's your logo. I pick up the pants more than anything because they, they tend to sell better. September 20th is when I listed these. So they sat for a little while. Not too old. Um, got 17 with my shipping. All right, 501s. Why did why did these go for so cheap? These sat for a long time. They've been listed for almost a year. Oh, it's because it's it's women's, I think. No, this is men's. This is men's. Um uh, this is back when I was like, I would never take this picture again. It's not salvage. I didn't say it's salvage. I hope I didn't. Um, I don't know. I thought people back then, I was just like, oh, I don't show them what that is. You don't need to take that pic. So here's all your tags. Um, that's one of the older tags. Did I put vintage? I didn't even put vintage in there. I can't. No, it's not. This is the, this is modern stuff. That's an older tag. So that's confusing. I, I don't know. I don't know why I bought these, but they sat for a while. They're gone now. I went by. All right, I mean, I buy 501s all the time, but usually I look for the older ones, so I don't buy the new ones anymore. Pelagic's a brand that I buy no matter what, pretty much. Um, this was a recent listing. I listed this January 8th, um, but this had all kinds of problems, so I'll show you the problems. That's why it's so cheap. So there were stains, and especially when they're, like, right in the crotch, you know, I was just like, I'm just going to price these to go. But I buy Pelagic without thinking. I don't buy the T-shirts and stuff, like, but all their performance stuff, like their bathing suits, the bottoms, um, performance shirts, performance pants, whatever they have, I buy it. Some of it goes for really good money. Um, and this was not a higher quality in them. This was kind of like, eh, it's just a bathing suit, but um, I didn't see the spots until I got home. So I priced it down so it would sell. I could get my money back and go buy more inventory. There's more foot joy. So this one is a check, check pattern. I don't know, how long have I had this? 
January 6th, I just listed it. So this is probably part of that bundle, maybe. Let's see if it had any damage. It did. That's a horrible dark picture. Oh, I dark. So I darkened the picture because here you can't see the stains that well. So it's just a trick. So I I shoot manual mode on my it's not on my phone, but I control the aperture and the shutter speed and all that stuff. So I darkened it. I think I just use a different ISO so that you could see the stains better. I wanted the customer to know like you're dealing with something. I couldn't get those out. So hopefully they can. But that's why it's cheap. It's, but it moves pretty fast. Get my money back. Go buy more inventory. Lululemon. This was a an auction. I listed it for a dollar. I sold it for a whole three dollars and twenty five cents. This thing was in horrible condition, and I can't tell you why I bought it besides the fact that I just didn't see the the stains. I mean, this thing was horrific. We'll just get to the bottom. So there was no, I don't think there was any tag on this to tell me what it was. I put activewear reversible top because that's what it was, but there was no dot that I could find. There's the Lululemon logo. It's a horrible blurry picture. Um, and then this is the reverse. You can reverse it, but it had all over piling, peeling. And um, there's, the, there's the, I don't know if you call it piling or peeling. I think peeling. Someone, if you're still watching, let me know in the comments below. Um, and then just stains everywhere. It was, in, it was in really bad condition. And I didn't want to list it. I was like, it's not even worth listing. So I just put a dollar. I let the customer decide uh, what it's worth. I do that sometimes when I when I make a bad buy, I'll just list it for a dollar. And sometimes you come out ahead. You really do well. Um, but most of the time you just get a little bit of money back and and uh, just take your losses. Uh, Revis, Revis, Revice, Revisi. I don't know how to pronounce that brand. This is a brand I don't buy. I don't look at. I listed these January 15th. Okay, it's a lie. I do buy them again because this, this is new. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I've had these for years. This is a 387 cell. So I listed a bunch of stuff when it, when it froze here. And this was some stuff. This is old jeans that I've had for a layer, very long time. So I didn't even do measurements. I just took some pics and threw it up. And for 387, I knew it's probably going to sell um, relatively soon. All right, last but not least, if you made it this far, let me know in the comments. Um, uh, just let me know uh, if there's anything you want to see in these videos or you want me to go slower, faster, uh, just so I know somebody's watching. All right, five, uh, this is another, okay, 325. I put this up for auction. Did I do an auction? Yeah, I put it for a dollar and uh, just took pics and listed it because I think it had, I didn't even point out all the flaws. Or there's, I thought there were flaws in this thing. Let's see. I don't know what I did. I just put it up for auction. Oh, I put spots all over right front leg. That's okay. So you can't really see them, I don't think. Um, well, there's a spot. There's a spot. I should have taken better pictures of that. But I think I was just frustrated because I'm like, yeah, this is a horrible buy. I should have done it. Just get it out of the way and move on. Let the customer have it for whatever they think it's worth. Um, that's it. That's all I got. I'll do the five and five video right after this. Um, and uh, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to keep doing this until I get some traction with uh, YouTube, until I get better at this. And uh, I'll start marketing better after that. But appreciate you. See you next time.